And we want to make the difference here by by showing that you can measure CO2 in a much more affordable way. Can be smart speaker, can be um, tablet, can be PC, uh, PC, can be, you know, whatever ideas as a, as a customer you have to provide your customers air quality. Could it potentially be in, uh, even in wearable devices? Yes, also. Yeah. Because Can obviously be. the, the, the yes. form factor is incredibly yeah. small, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So this is the sound of Sensirian, the Swiss sensor manufacturer, and I'm with Stefan Richter. Um, Stefan, lovely to meet you. I'm happy to meet you. Very good. Um, so, uh, Stefan, you've, uh, you're able to introduce something that's really uh, unusual, maybe unique in the market here, yeah. a way of doing uh, carbon dioxide, CO2 sensing that is, well, newly implemented in, in, in chip form. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing here? I'm more than happy to. So, if you look here, so we have our well-known um, SCD40, so this is a sensor based... So that's the, the larger device. Exactly. Yeah. This is based on photoacoustic. We already have for a couple of years in the market. And, and where would that device be, be, be used typically? It's normally everywhere where you want to measure CO2 in a, in a, in a home environment. So it could be for, for, off, for building automatization, can be indoor air quality measurement, all this kind of uh, in application. Automotive inside car, uh, the cabins of cars, would that be a potential application? Or it can, could be also be there. Therefore, it's not yet automotive um, it's qualified. Okay. Yeah. So it's a consumer product. All right. So yeah. what we've got here is, I mean, it's hard to see, but that's kind of relatively a large device. And then next to it, we've got a very, very small device. And this is the new one, I understand. Exactly. And so it is based on photoacoustic. Yeah. And this is our new product that we present here on, on the show. And you see it already the, the, the size dif um, difference. And this enables, of course, cost down. Yeah. And, um, and we want to make the difference here by by showing that you can measure CO2 in a much more affordable way, because we believe it's a really important um, parameter for indoor air quality. Um, so the sensor is faster also in reaction time, but mainly because of the size, because of the affordability, you know, there's a, the, it should open much more new application. So you can see this uh, um, carbon dioxide mo monitoring being implemented in a much wider range of devices or exactly. use cases. Maybe so the idea is really that mm. customers start to put it in their in existing devices where they see it could be an added value for their customers to have an information about air quality. Can be smart speaker, can be um, tablet, can be PC, uh, PC, can be, you know, whatever ideas as a, as a customer you have to provide your customers air quality. Could it potentially be in uh, even in wearable devices? Yes, in, also. In, yeah. Because obviously the, the, yes. the form factor is incredibly yeah. small, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and in terms of um, uh, of accuracy, the, the, the technology is, is validated. How is, it, uh, um, how is it performing compared to so other ways of doing carbon dioxide monitoring? It's a little bit less accurate than our photoacoustic. So here we're speaking about plus minus 100 ppm plus minus 10%. Mm. We believe it's still by far enough for any kind of information for indoor air quality. It's not enough if you have a, you know, if you're working in a regulated space for building automatization, mm. but, but for consumer application, by far it's good enough. And, uh, and the point of doing carbon dioxide monitoring is that you say indoor air quality, so that's, yeah. so that's sort of, um, it can also be used for measuring the um, uh, density of people of, 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 of uh, kind of population inside a, yes. uh, inside a room or inside a space as well? Yeah, I mean, if there's no CO2, there's no people. Yeah. If you have higher CO2 level, there are more people. Yeah. But CO2 is also, I mean, there are many use cases. First thing, CO2 is relevant for good sleep. Yeah. So if the CO2 level is too high, you don't have as good sleep. Okay. Then it's for cognitive um, performance. So if you have, if you have a high CO2 level, you yeah. don't perform well, you feel sleepy. You feel jealous, exactly. you, you lose concentration yeah. and that. Exactly, yeah, all this. Stuffy, that. And yeah. finally, now we have mm. the season. It's also, mm. you know, if you want to prevent to get infected by any kind of those, those 90 mighty viruses, yeah. so the amount of CO2 correlates exactly with the amount of aerosols in the air. Yeah. So what you expect. So if you have a level, let's say, of 1,200 ppm, 2% of the air you inhale was already in lungs of other people, yeah. which kind of grows. Yeah. So, okay. so, so better you you ventilate, and this is this helps you to know when you need to ventilate. Absolutely, very yeah. good. Um, so uh, this is uh, new, you're uh, announcing this product uh, at the show here? Yeah, exactly, it's yeah. brand new. It will yeah. be available uh, at distribution next summer. Okay, next summer. Yes. Okay.
Very good. Um, uh, and if uh, if customers wanted to get, uh, get get samples, so that will be they would get them through distribution. It would be on that kind of exactly that kind of time scale. And yeah? you know, some are, you know they can also approach us directly, but then yeah. we have a limited amount of samples. Of course. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very good. Okay, that's really interesting. Thank you, Mark. Uh, thank you, Stefan. Um, so we've uh, you've also got something else that uh, that you're launching here at the show as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So Sincerin has a portfolio of products for um, doing air, air monitoring. Um, yeah. This is is uh, something here that you're showing for particulate matter exactly. monitoring. So uh, what's, what, what is... So here? Here, what we did is we integrated all you need to measure particle matter on the chip. So in the center you see the laser beam and surround the co uh, co uh, collectors. And that means we could shrink the size of uh, the sensor, you know, what you need to do by far. I mean, it's what we love to do at Sensium to, to go and to make things smaller and more affordable. So this enables us, for example, to make this combo sensor, where this is integrated, much smaller than the actual um, generation, and we could integrate even more sensors. So this is a combo sensor where you find particle matter, but also humidity temperature, VOC, NOx, and you can choose between CO2 or formaldehyde. Yeah. All in one, plug and play. So it's really very easy for our customers to start to make any kind of indoor air quality So that's project. providing a, a very comprehensive exactly. picture of, of the quality of the exactly. air. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, and the particulate mon uh, matter monitoring this, this uh, device, that would typically be used in which kind of uh, use cases? Yeah, mainly it's for indoor air quality. Yeah. But we also see, you know, new, um, at what is always our hope, new mm -hmm. application popping up. So it can be also an event detector for early fire detection. So it can be in uh, EVs. So if you have a uh, terminal runaway, yep. it can be used to detect um, you know, something going wrong with your battery in your car. Mm -hmm. It can be if you have um, somewhere else fire detection, could be in the forest, could be everywhere else. This, um, and then you only need the, the component if you want to do this as an event detector. Excellent. And th this device as well, uh, the availability, is it, uh, um, you're, it, you're launching it now? Yes, it will come very soon. So you'll see all the information on our website. Okay. Very good. Okay, thank you, Stefan. Thank you.